beehives on roofs in Rome in order to pollinate our plants and crops. Sheep grazing in town to encourage new ecosystems. A kitchen garden overlooking the Eiffel Tower to bring some greenery into the city. Projects like these boosting biodiversity in cities have become even more important since the pandemic. Il y a toujours eu un retour de l'agriculture urbaine pendant les crises, donc oui, c'est quelque chose qui revient. Après, aujourd'hui, c'est une vraie nécessité par rapport au changement climatique. Reintroducing biodiversity into urban areas is part of EU strategy. The European Parliament says we need to do more in order to turn the tide on biodiversity loss. Global heating is taking its toll on our habitats and ecosystems. Today, human activity is threatening one million species worldwide. The EU has the world's largest network of designated natural areas. But our seas, forests and ecosystems still need better protection from human activity. We have objectives very ambitious, 30% of areas maritime, terrestres, fluviales. Put it in a law. We also have to protect the soils. I think the soils are fundamental for subjecting, for protecting a las especies. Parliament wants to stop the decline of pollinators such as bees, a vital link in our food chain. Members will oppose the reauthorization of the herbicide glyphosate in the EU after 2022. MEPs say 20 billion euros per year and binding rules are needed to protect Europe's habitats and biodiversity, just like the EU's climate targets. They're also calling for a global agreement for biodiversity at the UN conference in October 2021.